So what you need to do is to make sure that this hand stays in line with your chest and then you should feel it all in your oh, rotation okay. a little bit. So when, when you go like that, it's just yeah. kind of yeah. turning that shoulder in. Yeah. So when we first started out boxing science, we wanted to have an impact on the sport to help improve the training methods, in particular the delivery of sports science in boxing and in combat sports. So we started uh, doing articles and posts on Instagram and videos on YouTube, but this were only giving our coaches and athletes a snapshot of what we actually do at Boxing Science. Basically, it wasn't giving coaches like the practical tools to help integrate that into their coaching environment. So we started the Ultimate Coaching for Combat Sports workshop to teach them the sports science principles, but mainly how they can apply our training methods into their practice and we can kind of give them a guide but not one size fits all approach so it's great to meet different coaches from all over the country and all over the world we can actually help them uh, integrate strength integrate their conditioning based on their access to facilities different athletes that they work with as well spider-man into squat turn up nice and up all right and then back keep swapping legs it's a great way to get into a deeper squat position than you normally would let's say if i were doing a squat there i'd probably finish there when i do the spine man to squat i'm finishing that position so you want to try and stay as low as you can what i don't want to see when you're trying to stay as low as you can you're squatting like that round back okay so we've got various different components to the workshops. We start off with movement and, and mobility, and then we move into the science behind boxing. Uh, and then we, we look at little bits of, of conditioning, and we look at the theory of that, and then we look at the, the practice. And then we consider different aspects of strength training, you know, whether that's punch specific training, or lower body training, or upper body training. We then, in the second day, we're then looking at aspects such as programming and, and how we will, will structure a training program for a boxer and combat athlete over the length of a camp and then we'll talk about the final and latter stages of the camp in tapering and how you can get the most effective taper. So you're going to start here, drop down and back up. Okay, get that, really get that full extension as well. Yeah, good one. What are you saying Sean? 15. 15. Yeah, good effort that. And then look at the difference between counter movement jump height and squat jump height. So what I enjoy about the workshops is this is the best way that we can share the boxing science training methods. We've got two days to fully explain what we do at Boxing Science. This is bringing all the information in one place at one time. And then if anyone's got any specific questions, you know, interacting with coaches, uh, knowing like how that you're gonna have an impact on not only their career, but the 10, 20 or 30 athletes that uh, they're coaching as well. Try and get 10 reps in before you reach me, okay? So, and then come round on the green bit, okay? Off we go. Good, get up nice and high, good, yeah, nice. Yeah, toes up, good, yeah. How many reps are we getting? Don't pike up too much. Tapping side to side, okay? So start off quite light, just get used to it. Get tight to the line, get nice and fast, okay? In our conditioning workshops, we highlight our three main approaches to conditioning, which are sprint interval training, high intensity interval training, and then a hybrid of the two, which we call muscle buffer training. In the workshops, we, we touch a little bit on the science behind them and, and why they're, they're important. And we look at some of the results that our athletes have got from being on particular types of session and their, their transfer to performance. We break that science down into really understandable format and we couple that with practical elements as well. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Seven! Seventeen! Come on then, come on then, come on then! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Let's go, let's go! Twenty-seven! And time! Workshops are so effective because it's not like you're just reading from 
a presentation slide, you're not just reading from a book or watching a video, you actually get the chance to do these methods yourself. We have practical workshops in strength and plyometrics and, and movement training that everybody gets involved with. And then the brave ones that are wanting to get involved with the conditioning as well, they get to learn about how gruesome and how uh, grueling our uh, conditioning methods are. Two, one, let's go. Drive, go on in, go on in, Brilliant. Keep it going then, keep it going, keep pushing. There is some data collection on our, on our workshops and we walk each coach through the steps to take those and, and how to, to record that data and then how to make recommendations and prescriptions off the back of that um, to really optimise each particular session. So we might do sprints in the car park. If, if there's a prowler there, we might load up the prowler and do sprints with a prowler. If we've got a curve, we might use the curve. There's a, a range of different modes that we can use to try and get what we need from each particular session. I think that's a real strength of the workshops that we're able to adapt. No, it's the three kilos going faster. The heavier ball is creating like a bit of a potentiating effect, a little bit of coaching cue as well. If you're moving against a heavy object and then suddenly you've got a lighter one, you're going to fire that in. All the methods that we use uh, across the workshop, the main buying that we get from, from coaches and from athletes is the fact that it takes no talent to do. You know, there's getting stronger, getting fitter, moving better. You know, I can do that, the average Joe in the gym can do that, so definitely an athlete can do that. And the thing is, that this can unlock their potential in, in their boxing and their combat sport performance. And the main thing is, is that we uh, break down the underpinning science, some, some find it quite complicated science, and put it into a really understandable format uh, for them on the theory side, but also on the practical side as well. We're showing them how to practice it within a coaching environment. Okay, so when I'm landing, I'm landing a little bit lower on this getting back into that deadlift position. Because if we're going too high, trying to land it, like we'll do altitude jump, the weight's too heavy, we'll just drag our shoulders down. We take the scientific understanding and knowledge developed from years of scientific research and well-established theory and principles, and we apply it in a very context-specific manner. The time duration of the course itself you know, its two seven hour days, that's 14 hours of, of learning and it's jam packed. Rather than thinking about it as well as just, just two days and then putting all that information to one side or you know the, your notes gathering dust in the corner, I guarantee coaches that they will pick up that notepad and they'll be using that information for years to come. So it's not just a £200 investment in a two day workshop, it's a £200 investment over a lifetime. The most valuable part of the weekend for me was kind of seeing how all the different aspects of boxing science fit together in order to make a complete athlete. Um, both coaches here were very open, very open to questions. They gave explanations for everything. They had scientific reasoning and evidence and explanations for everything. I found real value in, in le learning greater detail about the, the conditioning side of things. I wasn't flooded with the informa information and then when it comes to the practical session, they were great, hands-on. Could get you could get get in do whatever you wanted to do. I couldn't recommend it highly enough. I definitely jump on the opportunity. It's a steal at the price point that it's at, um, and definitely give it a go, and you will not be sorry. 100% worth it. All right, the money was worth it. The knowledge was worth it, and the things you can take of yourself into the real world, absolutely brilliant. Yeah, I've come in today, and I've been pretty blown away by the level of content that's being delivered. Yeah, the fact that it's coming from such a strong evidence base, and it's been so um, thoughtfully put together. Um, I'd really, really recommend the content. If you want to get somewhere and you want to learn, I think this is the best place to be.